Hello, welcome to another episode of SV Design. In this episode, we're going to start with the build of the cylinder head. And I also just want to tell you that um, we're going to use a cylinder head that has a compression ratio of about 14, 14 to 1. And this is a pretty high compression ratio. And I will also explain to you later on in another episode um, when we have the build of the cylinder head a little bit further, so it's easy for me to explain um, why we chose this uh, compression ratio and also um what it means what what is a compression ratio but i don't really have the visual right now to show you and so i want to let wait to a later episode to do that but to start off with the engine open the file for the engine that we made and select all of the parts that we're not going to use and that is every single part except for the engine block so you can just select everything and right click it and select suppress so as you can see they are now all a little bit gray and you can select them or do anything with them and they are also not in the file. To start off select this face right here on the insert components button you click on the tab and select the new part. Once you did that click on the face again to make sure that you are making the new part on this face right here and also click on the rectangular tool. From the center of the circle, drag a rectangular shape that goes through the center of the circle and also through the center of the circles for the for the bolts that we make. So also through these circles right here. And also click on the convert entity tool, select the complete face and click on OK. And then again go to the Convert Entities tools, select the inner loop and select all the circles that are within the rectangle we just made. Once you did that, you can go to the Extrude Boss tool and select everything within the rectangular shape. And let's extrude at about 10 millimeters, yes. And the reason why I'm only doing the half of this cylinder right here is because once we are finished with the complete cylinder head, then we could just mirror this right here. And again mirror it, so select the face and also select the body. And then once we completed this side right here, so then to make sure that this all adds up, then we can mirror it once more to the other direction. And as you can see, it would fit perfectly all around. So that's why I'm just doing this side right here to save everybody just a bunch of work. Um, to make a compression ratio that is 14 to 1, because that's the type of compression ratio I want to use, we need to make a cylinder head that um, the, the, the surface, but the space between the top dead center of the piston and the face of the cylinder head itself needs to be a half a centimeter so about five millimeters in order to do that we can um, select this face right here click on sketch and use this circle and make a line that goes along the center and also extrude this circle to about three millimeters now I think a little bit more will do. Let's say seven in the other direction. Yes. Once you extruded this circle shape, that they have circle back down again. Select this surface right here and click on sketch. Use the line tool and let's make a triangular shape that looks a bit like this, or even the other way around actually. A bit more like this here and the reason why we don't make it a triangular shape that has equal length uh, in these two lines blue lines right here is because we want a bigger intake airport and then the exhaust air exit to be because it's easier to push air out than to drag air in so once we did that we can click on the convert entities once more and select ok go back to features click on extrude cut tool and select this surface right here 
and go to blind up to surface and select the circular surface right here. So once you made the triangular shape, right click the part and select open part. And we're now just in this in the part of the cylinder that we made right now. And select this the, the cut that we made and select edit sketch. We want to make sure that the surface is about five millimeters. Uh, the, the depth of the piston is about five millimeters. We don't have to do it very accurately right now, but in the future we will. We basically need to make the surface so that these three two triangle triangles kind of match this one right here. So then we know that it is about equal. I think this is about it. So then you can exit again and go back to edit feature because as you can see it's not square looking and also select this face right here. So now it's about right. Once we have this we can now start to make the intake, the air intake and the air exhaust holes for the valves to go through as well. So select sketch and let's start with the intake valve. So let's uh, click on the convert entities and select offset entities and let's make a 2 millimeter offset that goes to the inside and now make a circle I'm just going to make the circle as big as possible and to do that we can just select the circle and select the line right here and select the tangent and do the same with the circle and this line right here and also select tangent and for the last line select the circle again and hold down shift to select both of the lines and select tangent once more and as you can see the circle is now as big as it possibly going to get as I was explaining in the last video in the configuration that we're using we're capable of using four valves per cylinder in the video that I posted earlier I was explaining that if you have a cylinder head that only allows you to use one bigger valve then this is the maximum amount of surface for you to get air through and now we're having two um, two surfaces that are about this big so we can get air through a way bigger hole than just this one right here and that's why we're using overhead like system we're not using uh, an actual overhead camshaft system so click on extrude cut and select the surface and click on OK and also do that with this surface so click on sketch and click on offset entities refers the two millimeter offset entities click on ok make a circle within the within the surface and so hold down shift to select another line click on tangent and just continue the process and for the next step to make the pipes that actually let the air flow through and also exit I also want to make this surface right here at the same angle that this surface right here is in and to do that um, select this face right here click on sketch and um, use the offset entities and click on this line right here select reverse and let's say we make it about a five millimeter line and also do that for this line right here reverse and make sure that the lines also cross each other and also that they go through the whole face
click on the config in system and select the surface ok and click on extrude cut and select these two surfaces here and click on up to surface and select this outer surface right there and once we did that we can now go back to the surface and click on sketch again go back to the extrude cut and select the sketch that we just made and click on convert and seize to get that complete sketch back and as you can see this triangle here also needs to be extruded so select the triangle and go to up to surface and again select this cylinder right here and the last step is to dig out the holes a little bit further so select this surface again click on extrude cut select the surface click on convert entities and click on extrude cut again and what you can see is that we now have the holes for the cylinder head. and if you would mirror them and select by the mirror this is what the cylinder head would look like in the next video I will continue to, to build the cylinder head that we're making and I will also explain to you how we determined our compression ratio at a, a 14 to 1 or basically 15 to 1 either or and I will also yeah just just continue to build and uh, try to get as far as possible in uh, in like 10 minutes per video so that's it please uh, leave a like subscribe if you like the video and also follow me on twitter at sva design i'll see you in the next video